Since the beginning of this channel in 2013, I presented about 10 projects already, based on the Honda CX. It may sound like a lot, but I can also say, no, it isn't. Especially if we consider, this is one of the most popular motorcycles, for a custom project. Besides that, there is a Honda CX version, which I never talked about. And why have I never done it? That is precisely what I am going to clarify, in the next minutes. Welcome to Racer TV. This is the Honda CX I was talking about. It looks different from all CXs I ever presented. And it is also probably the most aggressive. This amazing Honda was a huge success on the builder's social media, with more than 150,000 likes and shares. Which means, it is really a very special machine. This is the work of Asim Zaharov and the team of Tossa R, located in Bulgaria. I bet some of you already figured out which CX model this project is based on. Yes, this build began from the 1986 CX 500 Euro, also known by Eurosport. This is the latest version, that Honda produced during the 80s. Technically, it is a much improved variant, compared with the earlier versions. The brakes, wheels, frame, engine, and especially the suspensions, were now much better than ever. The biggest change, was the Pro-Link monoshock rear suspension. So, this means it is the right choice, for a custom project. Right? Unfortunately, no. Not exactly. It is not by accident, that I never presented a cafe racer based on this CX model. The main problem, is the frame structure. Especially this section. The rear subframe, is what most builders usually eliminate on most projects. But this choice, makes the central section stand out, creating an awkward lack of connection to the rear wheel. This is also caused by the fact, that this swing arm is 4 cm longer, than the one from the deluxe version. And this is where this Honda deserves our attention. Asen and his team, were very clever with the design of the project. In order to deal with this empty space, he chose a big and nice rear fully adjustable all-ins shock, and changed the top fixing point, making it completely visible from the side profile. Simple, but very effective. But there is more. Asen was also very insightful, on the creation of this structure supporting the seat. Because it is welded along the frame's backbone. This choice, solves two problems. Not only it creates an elegant continuity of this central section, but also helps to reach a good horizontal stance. Another problem about the CX Eurosport version, is the fuel tank. 
and again. Aeson made the right decision, cutting this real lower section. As you see on this transition, the fuel tank was also significantly tilt, just to get this top surface as horizontal as possible. So, this magnificent Honda is fully loaded with a lot of small and almost invisible modifications. But all of them are extremely important to achieve this great and aggressive stance. Another very surprising feature is the rear cowl. Or maybe I should say the possibility of removing it. Yes. I know what you are thinking. It almost looks like sort of a bobber. The rear cowl is another very clever detail. To detach it from the seat, it only requires to remove two screws. It sounds like having two different styles in just one single motorcycle. This could also be used as an excellent marketing argument. And guess what? It probably was. Because few days before I start working on this video, this beautiful Honda was sold and sent to Great Britain, where it is now living with its happy new owner. Fortunately, the bike seems to have had a good trip, as shown in this video sent by him. What more can I say about this awesome project? Maybe that the front suspension and brakes came from a 2006 Yamaha R1, making it sportier than it ever was. Which is a curious thing coming from a Honda, whose version was originally named as Eurosport. Without a doubt, Asen Zaharov and the team of Tossa R made an exceptional good job. Because this project is one of the most well thought among all other CXs I have ever seen. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.